Welcome in our Austin Amina. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if this is your very first time watching. I'm Jude, I do Eurovision reactions and today I'm reacting to Iceland's song for Eurovision 2024. Now I'll be completely honest, I'm shocked with the winner. I'm very very shocked with the winner. Honestly this was the my least expected winner out of all five acts in the final. Um, but Hedda Björk has won Song for Captain 2024 with her song Scared Off Heights. Now, Hedda Björk is no stranger to a Eurovision stage. She competed for Iceland in 2010, I believe, with the song Je ne sais quoi. Um, and she's back with this song. Now, in the Icelandic final of Song for Captain, they must sing in English. I've reacted to all the songs in Icelandic. Um, and I did enjoy the Icelandic version of this. So I'm very interested to see what the English version of it's like. Very, very curious. And so, let's get the earphones in, hit the subscribe button if you're as shocked as I am. Um, and yeah, I'm pressing play. Okay. Let's go. Question mark. Number two. Number two. Number two. Terra. Scared of heights. Okay. Let's go. I love the Icelandic stage. It's really cool. That's a start. I'm not a jump scare. I'm used to the Furam Haira. It's what I'm very used to. I love whatever she's in with the reflection in the background. It's kind of cool. This feels so wrong compared to the Icelandic version. It's so weird. I love those harmonies. It's fun. Ooh. This is it. This is, it means a bop, right? It's a bop. Just the fact that it's not Icelandic really just like it's weird to me. Okay, we almost hit the notes. Sky high, but we were a little bit sky flat there. Sorry, that was so bad. Ooh. Okay, it's catchy. I'll give it that. I do really like the production of this. Um, and you know what? Hera has complete control. I mean, she's she's done this before. She's no stranger to performing, and you can see that. Iceland flexing their stage, of course. Ooh. So I have to do it. It is a bop and it's very catchy. Like, that's the part that could make it do well in your vision. But it's kind of screaming non qualifier, I'm gonna be completely honest. Ooh. I don't dislike the song at all. It's just not amazing. <laughs> Slow motion shot as well, that's so funny. I feel it coming, ooh. Like, it's a banger, right? But it's not on the same level as some of the other songs we have in the contest this year. But it is very catchy. Yeah, go through. But you know what? She does have the vocal capacity. She has the vocal ability and the performing ability. She's a good representative for Iceland. And that ending, bring it back down to the ground. You know what? It's a song for Iceland. <laughs> and it's a good song. Will it be my playlist? The English version? No. I will probably still listen to um, Viv Furam Haira because it's a banger and I love it. Um, but that version, I'm not entirely sure if I'll continue listening to it. It's, it just is a wee, it falls a wee bit flat for me, which is a wee bit ironic. Um, well, maybe it's not a wee bit ironic, scared of heights. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's very much okay. It's just not my favourite. Um, and it's not going to be extremely high on my top. I'll be interested to see how they stage that as well with the 360 stage in Eurovision. It could be cool. Could have some sweeping shots round, I could see. Um, so very curious to see how that kind of goes. Um, but what do you think about Scared of Heights by Hedda Björk? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you did like this video, then don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do all that great stuff. And thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Are you a son of Edith Smith? Summer sunny service